What's up guys, The Hunted Reaper here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the future of my channel, why I took a one month break, and what videos are coming up next, and what games I'm gonna be getting into. So if you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if this is your first time watching my videos, be sure to check out my a lot of my other videos, and if you're already subscribed, you're definitely gonna wanna hear some of the news. So without further ado, let's get to it, because we've got a lot to cover. Also, as you can see here, like I'm pretty bad at dogfight, honestly. Um, so yeah, I, I just I just opened up Call of Duty. I was like, I'm gonna play this game because I used to play it a lot and then I stopped. So I'm gonna revisit Call of Duty and have a little fun. And I was like, dogfight mode, did I download Battlefield? And I didn't, I, I downloaded Call of Duty. And so I'm playing this piss ed thing. Why? Why the fuck can't I shoot him? Okay, I, I'm pretty bad at this. Let's just get into the thing. So get into the commentary of sorts. It's a live commentary, that's why I'm messing up. So, um... In the last month, I did something called a death race, and it's the Spartan death race, and I was talking about it on my channel before. I actually posted a video about it, but what I did was I made a complete separate fitness channel, Hunted Fitness. I'm going to link it in the description box, and you can see exactly what I did during the death race. I lasted 48 hours, and I was medically DNF'd. Uh, I was 19 out of 100, about, uh, about of 100 people. So it's a crazy event, and that's why I took about a month break. I was exhausted. I was completely wiped. Uh, a Guinness World Record was broken at the event as well. I mean, it was insane. They made us do 3,000 burpees after doing, I think... 20 miles of night hiking it was i mean I, i'm gonna let uh, i'm gonna be, I'm, i'll talk about it in the other video it's already in the description so if you want to check that out please definitely do watch it it's an awesome video awesome experience and i'm going back next year so that's why i took a month off because i was so cooked i mean the amount like i got no sleep for so long and i was training for so long for this race and my body just fucking crashed on me i swear to god like my knees still hurt my head my head was so wobbly afterwards i was such a fucking mess i got a little fever uh my hands have just healed a month later they're healed but there's a lot of scars in them my back is all fucked up like i i have to do like physical therapy now because this race was so intense and so that's why i took a month off because i really wanted to focus on just resting and relaxing because a lot of the times i'll be up to to like 3 4 a.m. doing these videos you know making sure they look nice or uh, add that certain polish that I want them to have because you know uh, at the end of the day a YouTube video is basically only as good as polish only as good is as polished as it is if that makes sense so I don't want to like you know just put some shit out there and then everyone's like well Anthony your videos suck so like you know so that's why I took um, this month off but in this month off I've done a lot of thinking about oh, I just crashed damn okay I should do a lot of thinking about how bad I am at this game. No, so, um, I did a lot of thinking about the video games that have been out and the video games that I've been playing, and I've been kind of focusing on single player, and I've actually just been focusing on single player games for, uh, for when, my, when I was on this break. I was playing a lot of Forza Horizon, a lot of Monster Hunter World, because they're just relaxing games to play. I didn't really have to compete with anyone. It's just fun when you're on this little rest period, or when I'm on this little rest period that I, I was able to just play some relaxing games and not really give a shit about what I was doing. But now that I'm back to this little competitive mindset, I'm going back into like Call of Duty, and I'm gonna be playing Rainbow Six Siege a lot more on this channel because it's a game that I loved and I was actually pretty damn good at, but I just didn't see the reason for me to post videos about it. And now that it's like, now that I'm kind of understanding that like, it's about what I like as well in this channel, like, you know, um, the, the videos are going to be good if I enjoy the game, you know, because I, I have a lot of content for that. I have a lot of tips for Rainbow Six Vegas. I have a lot of funny things. I have a lot of good gameplay. And I, I definitely, not Rainbow Six Vegas, Rainbow Six Siege, what the fuck? And, you know, I, I just, I really want to start playing games that I like more. So also what I'm going to be doing is something a little different for this channel. I love space games. If you guys didn't know that about me, I love space. Space is like this great existential threat to me. And it's it's just a lot it's just really cool that there's so much out there, you know? Like that there's um that there's whole black there's black holes out there that are t two times the size of our solar system, you know? That like we're so insignificant and these things are so humongous, they're like mind bogglingly big out there. And I just love space. So games like No Man's Sky, uh Elite Dangerous, and uh like Space Simulator or whatever the fuck it's called, Space Engine Generator, one, one of those games, I, I, I gotta figure it out because I actually haven't downloaded it yet, I just saw it and I wanted to play it. But I'm gonna be getting No Man's Sky, I'm gonna be playing a little more Elite Dangerous, I'm gonna start veering into space games as well. So basically, shooters in space, SS, uh, Heil, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, uh, what's it called? Yeah, speaking of Hitler though, um, I just noticed that 
in this video, uh, in this game, even in the DLC, they don't even have the fucking swastika. And it's like, I feel like there's a bunch of kids playing this game that's like, this is how World War II looks. And then they're like, no, they didn't have a cross. The, 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 the Nazis didn't have a fucking cross. I mean, they gave people a goddamn cross, but like that, that red service star cross that you see on their fucking flag. But no, they, they, they used the Nazi flag. And like... The the the, the 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 bad thing about them not using the Nazi flag isn't that they showed this flag because by itself the flag means nothing, right? This is this is me going off into a little tangent in my fucking video for no reason. I mean, the by itself the flag means nothing. It's just cloth and and, and you know just lines and shit. But it's what the flag represented that was bad, you know. And I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna have a World War II game, you should be showing the flag because you're fighting the enemy, which were the Germans at the time, because they were killing the Jews. So if you make it that you know these guys are the enemies, they're bad, they are the bad guys, and they show the accurate flag, I don't think there should be a problem with that. But I guess. I guess, I guess Call of Duty's one big fat fucking pussy, but that's that's just that you know comparing comparing Activision to pussy is um, Is a strike against all women. <laughs> it's such it's such a bad fucking like like uh, it's such a bad decision that you know a year after the game has been released I'm still talking about it and that's just me going off into a little rant mid gameplay And I'm gonna keep it in there because fuck it. It's a live commentary and does this guy have his fucking mic on? Get thank you. God damn. It. I hate when people have their goddamn mics on like, shut up. No one here. No one cares what you say. Especially if, like, they're not talking in the beginning and it's just background noise. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a lot more space videos and stuff like that. I really want to get into that kind of stuff. I'm also going to be trying to branch out into other things. So I have this other channel. I mentioned it before. It's Hunted Fitness. I do a lot of fitness stuff as well as video games. And I'm working on something else, but I'm not ready to release it yet because I just want to see how having two channels is and how the workload's going to work for that. So uh, I know if you're probably not... Like, if you've never seen my videos before, you're probably not gonna give a fuck about what I'm saying. This is, you probably already X'd out, and if you didn't, like, thank you for, for being interested in my voice. Maybe you find my voice soothing, maybe you're like, I wanna, it, maybe he'll drop his address and I could rob him one day, but I don't know. If you're still here, I, I, I thank you for that. But without, without, uh, oh, the game's done. Okay. Okay, what do I do? Um, I guess I'll start another game. Be right back. So that was a sloppy uh, live commentary, but I am going to end the video here because I said everything I had to say. I don't know why I did that weird ending, but I'll leave it in there anyway. Uh, so this is a picture of me doing a Spartan race about two years ago. I have had a crazy journey ever since, and if you guys want to definitely check out my fitness channel, it's going to be great. I'm going to be posting awesome videos. I'm also going to be posting like gaming slash workouts, and I'll tell you what those are in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep watching watching maybe give this video a like or comment any video games you want me to play honestly i have a small community right now so if you get a comment out there there's mo there's there's a very big chance i'm gonna hear it so i hope you guys enjoy this video and peace out